Okay, so uh, the first step on making the electrodes is to cut the length of stainless steel wire that you need. Um, 60 inches for each piece. You're going to need a total of three pieces. So just um, lay out a yardstick, measure 30 inches, and then double that. And cut it and do the same thing two more times with a total of three pieces. You'll need two for the uh, anode and one for the cathode. The okay, here are the parts you'll need. You'll need the wire, the stainless steel wire, locking pliers, and some sort of shaft or bolt to wrap around one end of the wire folded in half. And then we'll need to secure one end and twist the other. Here it is, the 60 inch piece of wire. I'm going to fold this in half. And for the anode, you're going to take two pieces together and fold them in half. I'm going to make the cathode here in the example. And the anode is just going to be double. It's going to be two pieces of wire. So we're going to fold it in half and take the locking pliers and put them around the one end. Like so. Then we're going to secure that end. And we're going to take the shaft of the screwdriver around the other end. And we'll secure the locking pliers in this vise right here. You can actually do this in just both your hands, but having a place to lock it like this is much easier. And then we just twist the one end. And just keep twisting it until it's f it's braided tight enough so that you can still slip the shaft of the screwdriver out or the bolt. You may want to use a quarter inch bolt and just leave it in there because this is what's going to be secured to the top anyway. And let's take a look. This is what your finished product should look like. I'll lay it down here so we can get a better view. And there it is. Just a a braided piece with a loop at the end so we can secure it to the bolts. And that's it for making the anode and the cathode. Like I said, the anode is just double the wire.